Hello, welcome to Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Another episode of uh, Circle Theorem. This time around, we are taking the Theorem 5. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel for more of such videos. Let's get started. We have the Theorem 5 is about quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral. So they are saying that the exterior angle at the vertices of a cyclic quadrilateral. The exterior angle at the vertices of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite angle in the interior or opposite interior angle. So looking at this, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. There is no other line dividing this into triangles. If there's a line dividing this into a triangle, it also moves into a different theory. So it will be a clear quadratic uh, cyclic quadrilateral before this property can effectively be used. Now, we are saying that this angle here is the same as the angle here, and the angle at this side is also the same as this side. You can remember in the third or yeah, the third or the fourth theorem, we say that the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to what? 180. So it means that this angle here is 180 minus what? A. It's 180 minus A. So if I have here 180 minus A, we also know that angles on a straight line add up to what? 180. Therefore, if I add these two angles, if I add this 180 minus A plus A, I should be getting what? 180. That simply means that the answer I will subtract from this, that will give me this, will be the opposite angle to give me this. So imagine if this were to be 70, then this is going to be what? 110. Because this plus this will give me 180. Or 180 minus A, which is 70, will give me 110. Then 110 plus the exterior angle here, will in turn also add up to what? 180. Therefore, definitely I need 70 to add to this in order to get 180. So that is it. The cyclic quadrilateral at the vertices, the exterior angle equals to the opposite interior angle. So now let's see how we can use this property to solve this question. Find the size of the angles mark M, N, and what? T. So we can see this is a, a, a complete a cyclic quadrilateral with no line dividing to form a triangle. So what will I do? First of all, I am seeing this angle is opposite to that angle. So I can quote the theorem that says that the opposite angles add up to 180. Therefore, N plus 108 degree should give you what? 180 degrees. So from that, N is going to be 180 minus 108 and that will give us 72 degrees. So the value of M, the size of M, is supposed to be 72 degrees. Alright, so as that is out of the way, we can easily find T as angle on a straight line. We can also see that this angle is opposite to this angle. M is opposite to T. So M plus T can also give us 180. But this is the exterior angle per the property we have here. This is the exterior angle at the vertices of a cyclic quadrilateral. So this angle is also equal to the angle there. So in this case, I can say that the angle M is going to be 73 degrees after I quote this property or this theorem saying that the exterior angle at the vertices of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. So I can say that this is equal to what? 73. Then, right away, borrowing the property from uh, first uh, plane geometry, which says that the adjacent angles on the straight line add up to what? 180. So I can have T plus 73 equals to 180 degrees. Then T is going to be 180 minus what? 73. And I believe that will give us 
107 degrees. So just the values of our M will be 73, that of the N will be 72, then T will be 107. Don't forget, we can still add this and this in order to get our 103. You see, this and this are also on a straight line, which is the same value as this plus this. This plus this will also give us what? 180. Therefore, M plus T equals 180, where the M is also what? 73. So this is one of the property or the theorems which we use under circle theorem. I believe you get the concept. Clearly, there is a uh, similar property of this which will be form of a triangle. Angle in one segment between a chord and a tangent equals to the angle in the opposite segment. We will be dealing with in the next episode. Don't miss that. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Share with your colleagues, learners. Share with anybody who may need this. And don't forget to leave your comment below. Bye-bye.